In news, my wonderful people, see what exactly is going on now. See what is happening. Hmm. Hey, the Muslim Muslim ticket, Adamawa APC stakeholders wants Abdu sanction because he spoke against it and said this is not acceptable. We cannot have lies being distributed in the country because some people want to have their way. It's not possible. We can't have it. People are lying. How can you, in a country where there are where there is majority of Christians and Muslims, if it was a Christian going for a presidency and he's saying, I'm taking a Christian Christian ticket, would the North be happy about it? So who is deceiving who here? Who is deceiving who here? So, I mean, so this guy spoke about it. It's part of the APC chieftain. Spoke about Tinubu and his running mate. And guess what? They are against him saying he must be sanctioned. He has declared war on the party. That's what they are saying, you know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Muslim Muslim ticket. Adamawa APC stakeholders warn Senator Abu sanctioned for declaring war against the party. The, com the condemnation of the Muslim Muslim ticket by Senator Isiak Abu representing Adamawa North, Adamawa State, has thrown the race of the All Progressive Congress APC stakeholders in the state, Ariel. In a statement in Yobi, the Adamawa State Capital, Lawa described Abo's view as a declaration of war on the party and should consequently, he should be sanctioned for he has committed anti-party activities. He said the senator has disrespected the party's leadership who supported Bola Metinubu Akashim Shetema as APC presidential candidate and running mate, respectively, for the 2023 general elections. He said Abu's view that any APC member who does not rise up against the Muslim Muslim ticket is a potential member is derogatory and should not be taken lightly. What Abu said is that, you know, PDP members or APC members rather, APC members that are working for the Muslim Muslim ticket, they are all, you know, they know what is happening. Say they are all Buhama members, that they are all the Bukos, that they are all My the wonderful people. It's really, really happening. He said Abu's view that any party APC member who does not rise up against this Tinubu Shetima's Muslim Muslim ticket is a potential Boko member and is someone who wants to destroy Nigeria and continue to destroy it. It says APC will not make light of this. The implication of Abu's statement is that President Muhammad Buhari, Senator Abdul Rahim Adamu, the party's national chairman, presidential candidates, Senator Bola Metinobu, and 15 governors of the APC are all potential Boko members because they have endorsed the ticket and seen its potential to win the election to come. This is where he's having an issue. This man is busy demarketing the party in our area, giving the new Nigerian party undue, undue popularity and a free campaign for Dr. Daudu at the expense of our party. This could cost our party the 2023 senatorial seats. The question is who is Senator Abdul in APC? to disrespectfully call these party men, Boko members. This is the same person holding the party's ticket, busy attacking all prominent party men in the name of fighting for Christianity. I call for a rescue mission to our party, and the only way is to sanction Abdul, Abu by expelling him from the party so that the party will have peace and be focusing on winning the election. Else, they are in a big loss, Lawa has said. He revealed that the election in the states in the area already feels that they do not have a candidate in APC and may go for NNPP to make their voice count by step by stopping Abdul from winning the election. I want to authenticately tell you that Abu is the strengthener. So you see, my wonderful people, this is it. I want to authenticatically tell you that he's strengthening 
He's strengthening NNPP and destroying APC in the party. But with Abdul's behavior, it is clear that we'll lose vote of APC and Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu have no chance of winning, you know, Adamawa state. So this is what is going on. A senator in Adamawa is rising up to the occasion to tell that, you know, what is happening right now. Uh, there is one senator, you know, this is the senator that was beating women. Remember now, the whole laundry uh, matter. Yeah, that's the senator, you know, and he's saying right now that, you know, with all that is happening, you know, the APC members should rise against this Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket, that it is against, you know, the ethics of, you know, what is right. And guess what? APC members in the states are the ones rising against him, reporting him to the national. Because he said, what he told them, he said, listen, during the campaign, he said, listen, any of you that support APC, you are all potential bogos. You are all potential those who are destroying the nation, who are destroying whatever is happening. You are all part of it, you know. And since then, they've been, you know, they've been on him. You know, they've been on him. They say they want to expel him out of the party for speaking out. Can you see that people know what is right, but they will not do the right thing. And they don't care, okay, whether they are destroying things, whoever they put in there, they don't care. And what is bringing all this? Tinubu started it. Tenobu started it. He damned whatever Nigerians, whoever they could be or whatever is going on. And he said, you know what? I want a Muslim Muslim ticket. I am, I am the Jagaban. Yeah. And I will have whatever I want or whatever I, I say. And nobody will, nobody will, will, will kick against it. And because, you know, the people in APC are his people, you know, and the, most of them are of the same religion. They've gone on or ahead to support. But in case you are not aware, there are some South, South, some Southern um, APC members who are against this very, very ticket. Southern APC ticket, uh, you know, governors who are against it. But because of party affiliation, they don't want to tempt, to be termed the bad ones, the ones who will not support. They don't want to, you know, rise up against it. They don't want to speak, you know, they ju they're just keeping quiet and silently not supporting. Look at what happened in Oshun State. We are Regba Shola, you know, after fighting it out with Sinubu, letting him know that your cousin cannot become the governor. He did not meet up with the expectation. He did not do right by the people. I cannot continue to have your cousin as the governor. I know I handed over, handed over to him due to you. You know, we are trying to do whatever we did together to see that, uh, you know, we bring one of your own, but he cannot have a second tenor. And after that fight, and he, Regba Shola saw that, Tinubu was hell bent on ensuring that you know his brother gets a second tenor. He he totally withdrew himself, and at the end of the day, we can see what has happened. He totally, completely withdrew himself from any of such thing. He withdrew himself totally and completely, you know. And you saw, and you guess what they were all saying and all they were doing. Okay, he said, you know what, Arabe Shola, he worked for Deleke. Arabe Shola did this. Arabe Shola did that. Okay. So, my wonderful people, these are, you know, things that are going on and why we all together must speak out against everything and anything, okay, that is against this nation, against us moving forward, against us making real progress on every side, so that at the end of the day, we can be a better people. So, at the end of the day, we can truly move ahead and have what is really, you know, necessary and right for us to be that nation that we can be proud of. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.